Hey everybody, Wayne Will here. I'm Justin Myrie, product specialist with CNB Operations. Absolutely. Today we're standing in front of a 412R sprayer, but this is not just your average Joe sprayer, is it, Justin? Nope. Uh, today we're going to be talking around a 412R CN spray unit, showing you guys what's different about this versus previous machines. So we've got the Sea and Spray Ultimate machine here with us, which is equipped with a dual tank solution system, right? So you can see the one and the two, it's got a single tank with an internal divider, which keeps our chemicals completely separated out if we need to, uh, all the way from filling down to the spray tip on the boom, right? So that does a couple of things for us, right, yep. Justin? Essentially, it's going to allow us to split uh, and do a broadcast application and a spot spray at the same time keeping those products separate, eliminating antagonistic effects and allowing us to use a more complex tank mix uh, to make sure that we're doing a better job out there. So we're seeing weeds and we're spraying them uh, so we can use more, more complex chemistries, right? So that's, uh, that's a huge part of the Sea and Spray Ultimate machine, right? Giving us more flexibility there uh, with what we're doing to you know, effectively kill uh, whatever pests we need to, right? So another update on the Scene Spray Ultimate Machines is going to be the boom. So what, tell me what's different about it, Wayne. Yeah, so this boom is completely redesigned from the ground up, right? You can see that it's carbon fiber boom, uh, but it's truss style versus the tubular style that we've had in the past, right? So it's going to be a lot more durable, right? So we've got durability is one of the biggest um, upsides to this redesigned boom, as well as weight, right? Essentially, it's a wash between a steel boom and this carbon fiber boom because it's lighter, but we do have additional hardware, right? So couple of the additional components that we have on here, right? It's going to be your sea and spray system, obviously, uh, starting with your cameras and your uh, vision processing units, all the way down to the new redesigned Boom Track Ultimate system, right? So what's Boom Track Ultimate, Justin? So Boom Track Ultimate's going to consist of an additional two Boom Track sensors to make a total of seven across the boom. We're also working with five IMUs, inertial measurement units in there, so uh, just monitoring where the boom's at, where it's going uh, for speed and be able to predict kind of you know movements that are going to need to be made. Uh, a couple other things that we have a part of the Boom Track Ultimate package include a new uh, pendulum style swing for the center frame so that balances the boom better, always wants to return to center then, um, as well as some new valve blocks on there. What do the new valve blocks do for us? Absolutely, yeah. So there's two valve blocks now uh, for controlling boom height as we're going through the field with the Boom Track Ultimate system. So there's a smaller valve block uh, that's going to do about 90% of the minute adjustments as you're going through the field. Uh, and then it has that larger valve block still to be able to move that boom up and out of the way if you go into a washout or you need to raise the boom up really fast or you're folding, uh, things like that. So uh, gaining a little bit more minute functionality there, uh, just keeping that boom uh, very stable as we're going through the field. So And critical, right, as we talk about uh, accuracy of the system and being able to utilize the spot spray, we've got to maintain a very specific height for the cameras and the nozzles to work properly or prevent from going into fallback. So, the system definitely does that from what we've seen running in the field. Absolutely. So with the Boom Track Ultimate, you're going to be within a 10-inch window 90% uh, of the time plus, right? So uh, you'll be at the right height at the right time when your system needs to spray the weeds, right? So very important, especially when we come to the vision system. So let's walk down uh, our boom here. So when we're talking about new technology, this machine is equipped to the nines with the new technology, right? So including these guys right here. And what are these guys doing yep. for us, Justin? So we've got 36 uh, cameras across the width of the boom, scanning the area, looking for weeds. And then we've got 10 vision processing units across here that are analyzing that image uh, and then making the decision on if it's a weed to target uh, or if it's not, and then, and then uh, making sure that that nozzle is going to hit that. Absolutely, yeah. So we're scanning roughly 21, 2200 square feet per second as we're driving through the field, right? And we're going to be driving to the field at about 15 miles an hour, potentially, right? That's our speed limit for Sea and Spray Ultimate this year. So, um, so vision system, VPUs, cameras, all communicating to the sprayer, commanding those nozzles to spray when it needs to spray. All right, so with the dual product solution system, we've got a couple extra things that go with that, right? So dual strainers, dual valves, um, as well as dual plumbing here, right? So you can see supply lines and return lines. Uh, why do we have supply lines and return lines? So similar to current exact apply sprayers, we have pressure recirculation and product reclaim. And you can see with the dual solution systems, we're going to have extra plumbing here because of that, just to make sure we keep that separation between those products. So you'll see as we look down the solution line, separate lines for that, separate return lines, separate uh, pressure lines as well. So uh, like I said, essentially works the same as current machines. Today, just having that sec second set to keep everything separate. You see the dual lines here. We do have a redesigned nozzle body or nozzle holder that goes with that. Very, very similar to the, the previous Exact Apply sprayers. 
We just have the different nozzle holder, basically, uh, the clamp that holds it onto the plumbing. So uh, some redesign there, and we've got some other videos that go more in depth on that. Uh, so be sure to check those out as well. Um, talking about nozzles, though, uh, you can see nozzles here. You do need a 40 degree rearward incline nozzle facing backwards on the B uh, port of that nozzle body in order for sea and spray to function correctly for the timing uh, to work right uh, with the camera system. So there are some specific nozzles that are approved for sea and spray, so be sure to check that out as well. Uh, if you are getting into one of these machines, you do have a set of pre-approved nozzles that you would have to run with, uh, but there's good nozzles on there. I think you'll find one that you need. If we're looking at a CNC Ultimate machine, what would be some of the advantages of running this particular machine? Right, number one is going to be cost savings, right? So we've seen from testing that we've ran and some trials and demos that, you know, 60 to 70 percent isn't unheard of for uh, chemical savings in, in uh, those fields. So we're, we're applying to 40 percent of the fields, say that's that much less chemical on there, that's that many less trips across that field, less water to haul. Uh, we can cover more acres with that machine and, and utilize our labor a little better. So that's that's yeah. probably my number one, I guess. For sure. Yeah, as well as uh, being able to spray two products at one time, right? So you can broadcast a residual uh, type of herbicide as well as spot spraying uh, what's already currently grown out there with a the contact herbicide, right? So being more complex with our strategies of weed control um, can really help out in the long run, right? right? So helping with that weed resistance, helping with that, that cost savings like you just mentioned. Um, and then finally, we'll roll into Efficacy, Efficacy, right? Yeah. yeah, being able to uh, maybe use a more aggressive tank mix without, you know, concern about affecting or dinging the whole field, right? We can spot spray them areas and hit hard that, that got the weed pressure, um, save it on the other spots and, and theoretically not set back those parts of the field, right? Yeah, so. yeah. think about that uh, not being able to, or not curling those those bean leaves up when you have to go through the field and, right. and, and spray that uh, volunteer corn, right? Yeah. So that would be one of the use case scenarios we might see, so. So if you're genuinely interested in the spot spray part of this system, but a little worried about uh, the dual tank system either reducing your productivity or don't see a need to go out there and do broadcast and spot spray all in the same pass, another solution we have that would be a great fit would be a Sea and Spray Premium Kit. So we can utilize a sprayer that you already have today or a, a regular Exact Apply sprayer, uh, put the Sea and Spray technology on there, utilize the single solution tank, and still have that capacity to go out there and do a a broad acre spot spray and uh, cover more acres in a day with it. So, Absolutely, yeah. That's a very good option. If you don't want to roll with a full C and Spray Ultimate machine with dual tank solution system, we can slap a camera kit on a 2018 or newer uh, sprayer uh, with exact apply currently, right? And then we can utilize that spot spray technology on your current machine. So a really good option there if we're looking for spot spray technology, but don't want to go full bore into the Sea and Spray Ultimate machine. It's going to be an exciting year uh, for Sea and Spray. Uh, we're looking forward to a, a bright future with this type of technology. Thank you everybody for joining us on this quick overview of our Sea and Spray Ultimate sprayer. Uh, if you want to learn more, be sure to reach out to your local CNB operations dealership, uh, your salesman, whoever you would contact there uh, to get more information there. And uh, Stay tuned with us as we follow these machines throughout this growing season for more updates and more information about them in the field. For sure. We're going to be following these machines closely, so definitely more content to come. Now, I'm Wayne Will. I'm Justin Myrie. With CNB Operations. Thank you very much. <laughs>